Bull on ABC7. From Turner Field in Atlanta, Georgia, we're set for Cubs baseball here on ABC7. We had an afternoon shower earlier. Should be clear sailing the rest of the night. Cubs and the Braves, game two of a weekend series. Great to have you with us alongside Jim Deshays. I'm Len Casper. 4-2 Braves the final to kick off the second half last night. We're going to check in on the highlights starting with the good news and that is Kyle Schwarber had a very nice return to the big leagues. Uh, yeah all this kid does is hit. He's got about a year's worth of a plate appearance as a minor leaguer last year in this. He has hit 333 as a minor leaguer. He's shown a very good discipline at the plate. Three hit game last night. He did that damage when he was up earlier serving as the DH hit the ball hard all night long last night. Struggled a little bit behind the plate, had a throwing error, was also charged with the catcher's interference. But this is a team that clearly needs to find some offense, and maybe Schwarber can be part of the solution. Yep, first seven major league games, he's 11 out of 26. Jorge Soler with a go-ahead two-run single in the third inning. That made it 2-1 to one Cubs. Base running blunder, however, ended that inning prematurely. Yeah, I alluded to the errors by uh, Schwarber, and then the base running mistake here by Soler. And when you're not scoring runs, you've got to play tight. You've got to play clean defensively. You can't make mistakes on the base. Bases, those things tend to come back and bite you. Now bottom of the eighth, Auri Perez, a left fielder for the Braves with an opposite field, two runs single. That broke the 2-2 tie, 4-2 Atlanta, and the Cubs just couldn't get anything done against the Braves' bullpen, which was very good last night. And let's check out the updated wildcard standings brought to you by the Bob LaCorsio Auto Group. The Mets and the Giants just a game back of the Cubs. Mets will be in St. Louis again tonight. Giants will be at Arizona. And the Braves right now five games back. And this is kind of an important stretch for them, J.D., as they try to figure out if they're going to sit tight or be sellers. Yeah, well, they did a lot of work in the offseason. They brought in a lot of young pitching here. My, my sense is they're going to be sellers uh, regardless of how well they play between now and the trade deadline. When we come back, we'll talk about an interesting pitching matchup. It's Southpaw Night here in Atlanta as we get you set for Cubs baseball on ABC7. food and fun stop by frankie's at qc family entertainment you can take a seat at the bar or grab a table and enjoy delicious food from sandwiches pizzas appetizers and more qc family entertainment fun for the whole family right off john drew road to moline or go to ourquadcities.com and click on consumer connections for more the all-new 2014 rancher and foreman line and introducing the remarkable new Pioneer 700s. For every challenge, there's a Honda. Grab your friends and head over to Pines to watch any of your favorite sports teams. From college to professional sports, we've got you covered on any of our 11 TVs at Pines. Full service bar and 20 beers on tap. Cheer on your team at Pines. Stop by Pines on Utica Ridge Road. In Some of us see camping as one of life's greatest pleasures. From fishing to sleeping under the stars to hiking or even cooking outside. Using quality equipment makes sure every moment will be memorable and fun. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we understand. That's why we offer a huge selection of camping gear from top brands like Sun Dolphin, Camp Chef, Igloo, Buck Knives, Coleman, Frog Togs, Leatherman, and more. So make the great outdoors even more enjoyable with genuine value you can depend on. From Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Three LA ladies could not get a date till they crashed in a place that would alter their fate. Lady, I get disgusting gestures ten times a day. It is fantastic. Not in Cleveland. Weekdays at four on the Quad Cities CW. When looking for fun, come to QC Family Entertainment. We offer 32 lanes of cosmic bowling from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. QC Family Entertainment, fun for the whole family. Run off John Deere Road in Moline or go to ourquadcities.com and click on Consumer Connections for more. Chicago Cubs baseball on ABC7 is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz, located on the web at mvusa.com. By DeVry University, different on purpose. By American Family Insurance, insure carefully, dream fearlessly. By Dodge, born Dodge. And by Southwest Airlines, book your low fare now at southwest.com. Cubs 
14 and 7 against the National League East, but that includes 7 and 0 against the Mets as they try to snap an eight game skid in this ballpark. So Cubs and Braves tonight. John Lester has not won in a uh, career long 10 starts, but mainly that's because his teammates are not pitching in offensively. Oh my goodness, yeah, run support has been a big issue for John Lester. The club has scored a total of 12 runs in his last nine starts. They've been shut out four times during that stretch. He's doing his part throwing the ball very well. You look at his numbers for July. He's made three starts, winless, but a 171 ERA. And the other half of the Cadillac pitching matchup, an intriguing guy, 24-year-old Manny Banuelos, who had been in the Yankee organization for a while. The Braves got him in January, and he's been pretty good. Yeah, Braves have loaded up on a lot of young pitching. Their entire rotation, 24 years of age or younger, and they have great expectations for uh, the young lefty Banuelos. And Kyle Schwarber will be available off the bench tonight as the veteran David Ross will catch for John Lester. We saw some really good defense in the ball game last night, and with these low-scoring affairs, certainly very little margin for error. Lineups in the first pitch coming up next. Heyman's West Side Ace Hardware has multiple services to help you. From key cutting, pipe cutting and threading, sharpening services, paint mixing, and lamp repair. Services beyond the ordinary at Heyman's West Side Ace Hardware in Davenport. Everybody talks, everybody talks. It started with the wind. Truck guys can't stop talking about Ford. And now during the summer sales event, get the best deals of the summer on Ford F-150. This year, they really kicked the competition's butt on this. And Super Duty. They're the best-selling pickup trucks in America for 38 years straight. So don't miss the Ford summer sales event. Now during the Ford summer sales event, get an F-150 with up to $6,300 in cash savings, plus $750 in bonus cash. Talk about savings. Do you have unexpected bills? Need cash now? Let Title Max turn your car title into cash. With competitive rates and quick approval, Title Max gets you the cash you need when you need it. Most makes and models accepted. And Title Max gets you the cash you need in as fast as 30 minutes. So if you need help paying your bills, bring your car title to Title Max. And you too will say, I got my title back with Title Max. Live music is created every day at RME. The RME enjoys a unique niche in the Quad Cities and strives daily to maintain a vital presence through our mission as a nonprofit performing arts center, providing opportunities for the community to listen to, learn about, and play music. Heyman's West Side Ace Hardware has over 70 years of knowledge and can help you with all of your window needs. We can repair windows, screens, and thermopane windows. Services beyond the ordinary at Heyman's West Side Ace Hardware in Davenport. This is Chicago Cubs Baseball on ABC7. Back here in Atlanta, and this high-definition broadcast is brought to you by Xfinity. Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. So you see the giveaway tonight, that old-school Braves cap. Atlanta, a 4-2 winner last night. Let's get the Mercedes-Benz keys to the game. Yeah, uh, John Lester, he's left-handed. That should prove to be an advantage because the Braves have been woeful against left-handed pitching. They have a 641 on base plus slugging against lefties. That's 29th of the 30 major league clubs. So don't sweat the lack of run support if you're John Lester. you got to go out there and, and not worry about what has transpired in the past. New outlook. Just go out and continue to do what you've been doing, and hopefully the results will be there. Let's check in on the Cubs Southwest Airlines starting lineup. Fowler, Bryant, and Rizzo at the top. Jorge Soler is going to be in the cleanup spot tonight. Chris DeNorthia is in left. Starlin Castro the shortstop. Former Brave David Ross was activated off the concussion deal just before the break. This is his first action, though, since July 1st. Lester, the pitcher, batting eighth. And Addison Russell, the rookie second baseman, hitting ninth. Let's check in with the Braves defensively. It's brought to you by Nissan. A little different look tonight as Johnny Gomes gets a start in left. He's joined by Ma uh, Mabin and the Gold Glover Mark Kakis in the outfield. 
Uh, Simmons uh, just stellar at shortstop. He's won gold gloves the last two seasons. Uribe Peterson and Chris Johnson, who has become a platoon first baseman. He's lost his uh, third base spot to Uribe. He's over there at first tonight. And uh, Przinski behind the plate for Manny Banuelos. Two starts plus a relief appearance, and the numbers so far are good. 1-0 and with an 075. He was 6-2 and two with a 229 earned run average at Triple A Gwinnett. And the weather at the first pitch brought to you by Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing for all the right reasons. Call 866. Four Seasons, hot and humid. But it's not raining, and that's good. And we should be okay. We got a shower that interrupted Brat batting practice a few hours ago, but we're in good shape now as we get started. One ball, no strikes on Dexter Fowler. Corner men are in on the infield. That ball hit in the air out into deep right. Nick Markakis will put it away. Toby Basner calling balls and strikes tonight. He's behind the plate. Tim Timmons, Todd Titchener, and Dan Isonia on the bases. Ben Wallace, a four pitch pitcher, a fastball, curveball, slider, change. Changeup is a real good pitch for him. In his two starts this year, he has worked in the upper 80s, low 90s with that fastball. A couple years removed from Tommy John surgery. Chris Bryant sends one high in the air. This will make the seats down the left field line. Cup fan with a nice grab, brought his glove to the game. And it pays off early. See the Braves wearing their alternate home uniforms at off white cream color. And he went. Tim Timmons made the call at first, nothing in two. To be fair to say, Chris has had an itchy trigger finger kind of in this series. He's swung at some bad pitches. Yeah, I think he's starting to press a little bit, maybe getting a little anxious, getting out of his game just a little bit. Last night, it was the Julio Tehran slider, a power slider from the righty Tehran. It was really giving him fits. That was a change up. Still one and two. John Maley, the hitting coach, looks on as this offense tries to give John Lester's uh, some run support. He just hasn't had much, as we mentioned in the open here, these last 10 starts. Another one two to Bryant. Out into shallow center. Cameron Mabin coming on, and he's got it. I'll get your ticket now through the Cubs special events page and show your support of the Chicagoland Law Enforcement Night, which is Wednesday, August 12th. The Brewers are in town. Tickets will be in Terrace Reserve Outfield and include a special Cubs law enforcement baseball cap. For more details, visit Cubs.com slash special events. Anthony Rizzo 0 for 3 with a walk from the cleanup spot last night, hitting third tonight. Leads the National League with a 474 on base average against left handed pitchers. Ball one. It looked like it was up and a little in to make it 2 0. Yeah, Ben Wallos, if you add up his innings, Triple A in the majors, he's at 94 and two thirds. That was going into this start. Last year, 76 and two thirds total coming back from elbow reconstruction. The Braves do not have a tried and true formula. They they really look at their young pitchers individually in terms of how many innings they can add year to year. But you'd have to think they're gonna limit him at some point as Rizzo went around two and two. Yeah, they're you know they're in this kind of 
rebuilding mode here. Um, I guess there's a chance they find themselves in a bit of a, a race late in the season with an eye towards a wild card spot. I don't think that's going to happen. I guess that would be the, the outlier. But otherwise, yeah, why not shut some of these kids down early and save some bullets for the future? Full count, Soler is on deck. Just underway here in Atlanta, and there's the first base runner, a two-out walk to Anthony Rizzo. And that's the challenge for a pitcher against Rizzo, a lefty, when, when Anthony's right on top of the plate like that. If you're trying to stay away from him, you're off the plate. And usually Anthony's able to lay off that pitch. That's why he works so many walks. Soler knocked in the Cubs two runs last night with a third inning single. He did not, however, put on a good base running display. Uh, his manager talked to him about it today. The man with the, the margin for error is so small right now. Those types of plays end up looming large. Had he not tried to get to second, it would have been first and third, two outs. Had he gotten caught in a rundown, just stopped halfway between first and second, he would have at least given Anthony Rizzo a fighting chance to score. And in the end, he just just kind of gave himself up. Yeah, well, it's just oh, kind of a lack of awareness of what's going on around you. There was nobody on first base because the first baseman had moved into a cutoff position, so. Even if he had made the you know the initial error of taking too big of a turn, he still had plenty of time to scramble back to first. A teaching moment for Joe Madden and his staff. No decision for Kyle Hendricks last night. One earned run in five and two thirds. Good block by Przinski. And a good look at the back of the bat boy. Over. The Atlanta dugout. Kyle Schwarber chatting with Mike Borzello. Check on the runner. Banuelos born in Durango, Mexico. And he signed with the Yankees back in 2008. Grew up rooting for the Yanks, in fact. And he threw pretty hard pre Tommy John surgery. At this point, I think when people evaluate Ben Walos, they talk more about his composure and his guts than they do his stuff. Not afraid. And that can. Uh, that can get you places at this level right. Oh, absolutely. And Swing and a miss. That and a real good change up and that <laughs> change up not particularly well located but. Plenty of deception there and Solaire Way out in front. And when he was 19 years old Mariano Rivera said he was a. Uh, Best pitching prospect he'd ever seen. And again, he was throwing 96 97 at the time. But really noticed that composure when he was in the Yankees' chain. Up and in, three and two. It looked to be a pretty routine one, two, three first inning has now. And a balloon on Banuelos. This will be his 19th pitch. As Rizzo takes off, swing and a miss. So he gets him with the change. His first strikeout tonight. Braves are coming up when we come back. This summer, you could win tickets every hour to concerts of your choice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. But only with Pepsi. Yes. <laughs> oh. At least your name's on the bottle. Do I look like a Larry to you? Pop open music every hour with Pepsi. 
Some of us see camping as one of life's greatest pleasures, from fishing to sleeping under the stars to hiking or even cooking outside. Using quality equipment makes sure every moment will be memorable and fun. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we understand. That's why we offer a huge selection of camping gear from top brands like Sun Dolphin, Camp Chef, Igloo, Buck Knives, Coleman, Frog Togs, Leatherman, and more. So make the great outdoors even more enjoyable with genuine value you can depend on from Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Every girl deserves to be a princess for a day, no matter the occasion. From quinceañeras to proms to weddings, owner Terry Diaz cares and makes sure you are completely satisfied with your selection. We offer beautiful dresses in the store and from our catalog, and we make beautiful custom dresses for any size. Be sure to check out our fine selection of jewelry and tiaras, as well as shoes that make the perfect fit. Princess for a Day is located on the corner of Rockingham Road and South Concord Street in Davenport. Stop in and feel like a princess for a day. Beyond this blue hair lies another realm. My hair isn't really blue. My caramba. A realm full of... <clears throat> and... No, no, no. Where children never age. Ugh, the foul stench of youth. And donuts hold the key to the universe. Mm, donuts. Join us as we explore The Simpsons. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. <laughs> Weekdays at 5 on the Quad Cities CW. This summer, you could win tickets every hour to concerts of your choice. Right. But only with Pepsi. <laughs> you still got the polar bear? Pop open music every hour with Pepsi. Lines, they snapped a five-game skid last night. Peterson, Mabin, Markakis at the top. Johnny Gomes and Chris Johnson get their first starts of the series. Przinsky, Uribe, Simmons, and the pitcher Banuelos. We'll set the Cubs defensively here in a second as their opening day starter John Lester will make his first start of the second half facing the left handed hitting Jace Peterson and a called strike on a fastball. There are the numbers on John uh, four up eight down ERA of 3.59 as he makes his 19th start. Peterson one for three doubled walked was picked off last night. Recently Lester has been solid. We showed you those numbers in July in the open over his last six starts. He's got a 235 earned run average. He's only allowed one home run over the course of his last seven starting assignments. Six four two forty. Ooh. Close didn't get it. Two and two. 31 years old. First year with the Cubs. Called strike three. Got him on a cutter. Take a look at the Cubs defensively. It's brought to you by Toyota. Denorfia Fowler Soler. Cover this big outfield here at the, the TED. Brian Castro Russell Rizzo, third to first. David Ross. Back behind the plate for Lester. It's a month by month on John. Got off to that tough start. Uh, outstanding in May. Scuffled a little bit in June, and he's been really good, as I said, over the last. I think it's from mid June on. Had a couple clunkers, but over the last 10 starts or so, really, really good. Softly hit up the middle. It'll be picked up by Russell, and he gets the speedy Maben. That was kind of funky. Oh, and some weird spin on it. And Castro playing a step towards the hole. Russell closer to second base, so he scrambles over there. Quick release, strong arm, gets Maven. Addison has uh, some friends and family here in the ballpark this weekend, up from Pensacola. Now Nick Markakis. Two outs, nobody on. Markakis with 73 previous at bats against John Lester. A lot of Red Sox Orioles matchups. No home runs and a 233 lifetime average as he bounces this one. 
past Bryant and in the left. Marcakis is aboard with two outs. Tough play for uh, any third baseman. I think tougher still for a, a tall one like Chris Bryant. Working his way towards the line on the backhand side, just not able to stay down on that ball. It was going to be a tricky play. It looked kind of like trouble right off the bat. And they give Marcakis a single. And here comes Johnny Gomes. Gomes was a teammate of John Lester's not only in Boston but they were traded together for Uenis Cespedes on July 31st of last year uh, to the Oakland A's. Some guys have those uh, pre pitch quirks and routines and for Johnny Gomes it's adjusting that batting helmet. I think what he likes to do is really press it against his forehead kind of lift the. Uh, the skin above his eyes to really uh, help his vision. I think that's how he once explained it. Watch this right here. <laughs> Russell will step on second, and that will end the inning. Scoreless after one. These great wireless plans you hear about, they come with this guy, the asterisk. Let me in! iWireless, on the other hand, will never have hidden fees, overages, or dumb asterisks. No matter how hard they try to get in. Get a smartphone and unlimited talk, text, and data with one gig of 4G data for 30 days, just $59. Bring us your number and get up to $100 in credit. iWireless, no asterisks allowed. This summer, you could win tickets every hour to concerts of your choice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. But only with Pepsi. Yes! <laughs> oh. At least your name's on the bottle. Do I look like a Larry to you? Pop open music every hour with Pepsi. This summer, you could win tickets every hour to concerts of your choice. Cool. Right. But only with Pepsi. <laughs> you still got the polar bear. Pop open music every hour with Pepsi. The flock returns to the Quad City Botanical Center this summer for our Flamingo Follies exhibit, now through July 31st. We want you to bring the whole family out to enjoy an exhibit of artistically altered pink plastic lawn flamingos designed by over 60 area artists. As you enjoy the flamingos, be sure to vote for your favorites for the People's Choice Awards. To find out more about the Flamingo Follies exhibit, visit OurQuadCities.com. Two and a Half Men presents Manly Rules of the House. Number 30, think before you drink. Can I have some of that? Beer? No. Why not? Well, it's like this. Alcohol is for people who can afford to lose a few brain cells. <laughs> yeah, so? I rest my case. It's Two and a Half Men. A full hour, weeknights at 9 on the Quad Cities CW. Chicago Cubs baseball on ABC7 is being brought to you by Marvel's Ant-Man, now playing in theaters and IMAX 3D. A scoreless tie as Krista Norfia will lead off the Cubs second. Nice crowd tonight, maybe not quite as big as last night, fireworks night for game one. Over 42,000 in the ballpark. And a foul strike on DeNorfia. Did you know that Ant-Man was a superhero? I do now. Existed. Yeah. Because my first exposure to Ant-Man was an SNL skit years and years ago. Oh. A superhero party. And Ant-Man was there. They were kind of, I thought it was just a parody. I didn't know there really was an Ant-Man. <laughs> One and two.
Chris 0 for 1. As a pinch hitter last night. And a line drive base hit to left. Able to get on top of that high fastball. Looks like Benuelos likes to work upstairs with that elevated heater and then complement it with a change up down. To know if you're quick enough to get on top of that and hit it on a line. Second base runner, first hit for the Cubs. Intrigued to see what Banuelos ultimately becomes <clears throat> because you know you, you mentioned uh, the fact that he used to throw 97. Typically you lose a little bit and then you know you have surgery and it takes a while to come all the way back. This is a huge spread between if he really was a 97 mile an hour guy and what he is now. Right, 97 to 90. As Castro swings at the first pitch and Mabin in right center makes the grab. Let's take a look at the uh, Cubs blog on ABC7.com brought to you by Jeff Vukovic, your local nationwide agent, serving the area for 37 years. To join the nation, contact Jeff at jeffvuk.com nationwide is on your side. Yeah, and a lot of Tommy John guys, not only do they regain most of their velocity, some guys regain all of it. If yeah, not some and, more. And some guys come back with actually a little bit more, and I think it's just because of the, the conditioning and training you do post-surgery, guys. A lot of times come back in the best pitching shape of their lives. That, you know, there's, there, is, there was a theory out there for a while that if you have Tommy John surgery, you're automatically going to throw harder. I don't believe that. I think it's the, the work you do coming back, all the hard work you put in, guys sometimes will, will pick up a little bit. One ball, no strikes on David Ross. Former Brave. He was Brian McCann's backup, 2009 to 2012. Really enjoyed his time here. Loved playing for Bobby Cox. And the pitch. It's a strike. We put up some good numbers here. He said really when he came here is when he became a backup. Wasn't really a true number two catcher till he got to Atlanta and he said his kind of his idol became Eddie Perez who's their bullpen coach now longtime uh, personal catcher of Greg Maddox. You mentioned Henry Blanco who's currently on the Cubs staff but those guys he tipped his cap to and it's not an easy job and he shaved his mustache. See Ben Walos looking up a, a pretty good sweat here and likely will be the same for John Lester tonight. Oh John my goodness he'll, he'll go through six t-shirts tonight. Another check on the runner. are over 500 on the road and at home but just one over away from Wrigley Field 22 and 21. There goes Denorfia. Ross pulls one in the air to left pretty deep but Gomes on the warning track is going to have room. That'll send Denorfia back to first two outs in the inning. This is a ball that had Denorfian not been running, he probably would have been able to tag up and make a mad dash to second base with that deep fly ball. But going with the pitch, he made sense to just kind of drop anchor there at second base, read the ball, and see if there's any chance it would fall in. Now Lester, one out of 34. The hit came two starts ago. And he grounds into a fielder's choice to end the inning. Bottom two, nothing, nothing. Anyone can get service in town, but U.S. Cellular offers 4G LTE where you just wouldn't expect it. So you can watch your shows. Way out here. Stream your music. Way, way, way out here. Or check Facebook. Way, 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 way,
of U.S. Cellular. Now the middle of nowhere is the middle of anywhere. I love coming to River Bandits games. I love eating popcorn and watching baseball. And all those crazy, funny acts. But mostly, I like to play in the bounce house and ride cool rides like the Ferris wheel and the Tropic Twist. And if I do my chores, my daddy even lets me stay up late and watch the fireworks. Helen, you missed the spot there. Well, at least I don't have to clean the bath. The River Bandits at Modern Woodman Park. Where the fun never stops. <laughs> Happy hour is upon us. One must train to awaken at 2 a.m. for hand-dipped milkshakes. But there's another, another one dur during the day, between 2 and 5 p.m. Happy hour just got happier. Get half-price shakes now from 2 to 5 at Steak and Shake. Chicago Cubs baseball and ABC 7 is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Check out our excited model lineup by visiting your local authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer or visit us today at MBUSA.com. Well, happy birthday, young man. Chris Johnson has been the prototypical platoon guy this year. 362 average against lefties. And a strike from John Lester. At 252 overall, has done a fair bit of damage against the Cubs in his career. Third baseman by trade playing first tonight. Freddie Freeman on the DL. Fowler drifting back. And he's got room. Playing fantasy baseball, MLB.tv serves up real-time highlights of pitch tracking info on your out-of-market fantasy players live or on demand on over 400 devices. Blackout and other restrictions apply. Get MLB.tv. Do it now. Do it today. Do it right this minute. I think it's fair to say after the White Sox won the World Series, A.J. Przinsky, 28-year-old catcher 2005, if you had said what are the chances he's still catching 10 years later? He'd say, probably not great. But he can't be at the big reunion this weekend in Chicago because he's in Atlanta Brave. And as we talked about last night, he's been really good this year. Uh, hitting uh, 283. That ball hit him. These guys are former teammates briefly in Boston last year. A cut fastball that he just didn't finish. Now Juan Uribe 0 for 4 last night. Strike called. Oh. Not a good throw by Ross, but Addison Russell right behind Lester. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, another guy that can't be at the reunion. Juan Uribe. Yeah. yeah. Inside two and one. Andrelton Simmons on deck. Outside now, Lester behind in the count, three and one. Rabe has been around a long time, broke in with the Rockies back in 2001. Good run with the White Sox, couple years with the Giants. Swing and a miss. Three and two. Dodgers traded him here in late May. Picked it up a notch since joining the Braves. Brzezinski runs, swing and a miss, strike three, throw to second, out. Strike him out, throw him out, double play. The inning is over. Two in the books, scoreless. Some of us see camping as one of life's greatest pleasures, from fishing to sleeping under the stars to hiking or even cooking outside. Using quality equipment makes sure every moment will be memorable and fun. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we understand. That's why we offer a huge selection of camping gear from top brands like Sundolphin, Camp Chef, Igloo, Buck Knives, Coleman, Frog Togs, Leatherman, and more. So make the great outdoors even more enjoyable with genuine value you can depend on from Blaine's Farm and Fleet. I'm Andy McRae, and this is the ultimate golf card from OurQuadCities.com. For just $29.95, this card will get you 18 holes and half a card at five of the area's hidden gems, including Bunker Links, Chapel Hill, Rustic Ridge, Saucy, and Wolf Hollow. And you'll get one hour in the PGA Tour Golf Simulators at the Clubhouse Indoor Golf and Lounge. If you like golf, get the ultimate golf card for just $29.95 while they last, only at OurQuadCities.com. Hey, Jimmy, do we have time for one more round before... Please tell me that wasn't my mother. Significant mother. August 3rd on the Quad Cities CW. Meet the eligible bachelors of Seinfeld. George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents. Jerry. I'm single, I'm thin, and I'm me. And Kramer. I can't get my pants off. Seinfeld. Weeknights on the Quad Cities CW. Anyone can give service in town. But U.S. Cellular offers 4G LTE where you just wouldn't expect it. So you can watch your shows. Way out here. Stream your music. Way, way, way out here. Or check Facebook. Way, 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 out here. Pretty awesome, huh? With U.S. Cellular, now the middle of nowhere is the middle of anywhere. It's got to be family food. Weeknights at 6 on the Quad City CW. You know what time it is? Time is it? It's time for the Volkswagen defensive play of the game. Freddy Gonzalez hoping for ball four or contact. Gets neither. Swing and a miss. And A.J. Brzezinski becomes an easy out at second base. Probably should use the timeout there. Maybe didn't want to burn it this early in the game. That throw was overqualified for the situation. <laughs> Here we go in the third. Addison Russell takes a strike. Mm -hmm. Sharp breaking get over curveball from Benuelos. So we've seen fastball change up, and there's a pretty good hook. He also has a slider. Hey, we want to pass along our condolences to the uh, family of Barb Harrigan. Passed away yesterday at 86 years old. And we're thinking about her uh, family and friends. 0 2. On the ground, Simmons moving to his glove side.
It would be a good idea to limit the number of balls you hit in his direction. He's only made three errors all year. Switch hitting Fowler. Takes ball one. He flied to right to lead off the ball game. Got more chances uh, from the right side in recent games. The Cubs went for quite a while there without seeing any left handed pitching at all, starting pitching anyway, but. Last 10 days or so, they've seen a few, and it's given Fowler a chance to get some ABs from this side, his preferred side. Another ball lifted. And it's Marcakis again. Watch Chicago's number one news, ABC 7. Eyewitness News in the morning, weekdays 4.30 to 7 a.m. with Judy Sue and Terrell Brown. Two outs, and it's Chris Bryant. Still looking for his first hit of the series. And he cuts and misses. And there's the slider. Yep. Dodgers and Nationals were suspended last night. They had three power outages in Washington, D.C. Nationals Park, a faulty circuit breaker. Nationals were leading three to two. They finished the game today. And the Nationals won it five to three. And a Matt Den Decker pinch hit, two run homer in the eighth. The regularly scheduled game, the Dodgers won four to two behind Clayton Kershaw's 14 strikeouts. He beat Doug Fister. 14 punch outs over eight innings. Kershaw's earned run average down to 268. Two and two on Bryant. Yeah, and what has been portrayed as a down year for Clayton Kershaw. And maybe by his standards it is. Look at over Simmons, little top spin liner. So Bryant does have his first hit of the series. Simmons started to elevate and then realized the ball wasn't hit as sharply as he initially thought. And ultimately made a pretty solid effort, just couldn't quite get up high enough. Two out knock for Bryant. Rizzo with a man on two outs and takes ball one. Royals beat the White Sox in 13 innings on a Lorenzo Kane home run, seven to six, the final. Home run, that would be a good idea. Cubs have not done a lot of that lately. Um, haven't scored a lot lately. Their last 20 ball games, they've been held to two or fewer in 14 of those 20 games. They've got 9 and 11 because they've pitched so well. Yeah, they've hit only six home runs during this stretch. Their slash line is rather unsightly 216 team average. Their on base percentage 297, slugging 294. Yeah. It's hard to win games yeah. doing that. Yeah, I mean, we are in a very, uh, very much a, a, a low run scoring environment. Uh, so you kind of have to re recalibrate when you think about the numbers, but clearly, you know, they've got to find a way to pick it up some. That throw gets away from Johnson. Bryant to second on his way to third. And I believe they did call 
obstruction anyway on Johnson. So Brian at third. That'll be an error on Banuelos. They said uh, Tim Timmons at Johnson impeded his progress after he was going after the ball. Again, it really doesn't matter because he ended up at third. Right. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Not sure I agree with that, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Either, yeah. I like the way Brian he just goes hard the whole way. I think a lot of guys, uh, as they got closer to third base, would break it down just assuming that's as far as they're going to get. Brian never makes that assumption. He always pushes for more. So he's now at third and a 2 1 count on Rizzo. As Chris Johnson continues his conversation with Tim Timmons. That's a strike two and two. The pitch on the ground into right and a base hit. So that error looms large as Bryant scores and it's one nothing Cubs. And last night it was the Braves who took advantage of a Cub error to score a run and now the Cubs take advantage of the air throw by uh, Ben Wells and Rizzo doing what he does with two strikes shortening up using the hands and getting a knock. Now the pitch to Jorge Soler found back. So I guess the irony is, you know, John Lester doesn't throw to first very often. And by simply not throwing to first, he can't make a throwing error. And yet it's the other starting pitcher making a critical mistake on that very same throw. There is a level of irony there. Eh? <laughs> And on top of that, they get the strike him out, throw him out, double play to end the Braves' threat in the second. Ball and two strikes on Soler. Big crowd, but uh, pretty quiet, I would say, here early on. They've had nothing to chop about. When they get ready to sing that song, do they literally say chop, chop? <laughs> chop, chop. Yeah, I would say beyond uh, Braves Nation, whatever that is, their fandom, that, that's not a very popular song. In fact, I would say it, it ends up being rather annoying to mo most baseball fans of other teams. Yeah, first couple times you heard it, and, oh, that's kind of neat. The 2 2 pitch is golfed into center. Maben to end the inning. Cubs grab the lead 1 0 in the third. The Nissan Road. With blind spot warning, a round view monitor and intuitive all-wheel drive that knows just when to kick in. Choose Road, just $209 per month, or get 0% APR for up to 60 months. <laughs> Nissan, innovation that excites. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Zero financing for 75 months. That's a new Sonata for 189 a month with no money down or be interested. 
interest free for 75 months with volume discounts on over 800 vehicles in stock and America's best warranty. You just can't buy the wrong car at Green Family Hyundai. Saving the car world one deal at a time. Green Family Hyundai, you gotta go green. We are the Defiant. The ones who defy history. Defy family. Defy death. Gravity. Even our demons. We defy weakness and wanderlust. We defy expectation and explanation. We defy haters. And heartbreak. We defy bad luck and bad luck. We defy to be ignored. To be bored. To be defined. This is our purpose. Our moment. Our choice. is brought to you by Sports Clips. It's good to be a guy. Cubs lead one to nothing on an unearned run of Manny Benuelos. And Brilton Simmons takes a pitch low from John Lester. So there's your run, John. Over his last seven starts coming in, the Cubs had scored three runs total while he had been in the game. So make that four runs down his last eight. As Russell retires Simmons. Yeah, and just 12 runs total throughout the entire nine innings of his last nine starts. You see the run support or lack thereof. Yeah, and over half of his starts, 10 of his first 18, he's received no more than one run of support. Banuelos, right-handed hitter, left-handed thrower. He's 0 for 1 with two sack bunts. Not much experience in the minor leagues, just two out of 12. In his minor league career, that's a strike. It's one and one. If we didn't know any better, we'd say the hitters are hazing John Lester, the new guy on the team. Uppercut swing, one and two. Oh. Exactly seven innings in each of his last three starts. Last time out, he gave up five runs, four earned, but pitched very well. He didn't allow many base runners. Had some bad luck. Unearned run. He didn't walk anybody. Struck out eight. mentioned earlier this Braves club club has really struggled against left handed pitching as a team hitting just 236 against southpaws. Oh. Significantly better against the north paws. <laughs> right. Freddie uh, Gonzalez in his fifth year as skipper here. Swing and a miss got him on a curveball. Let's take a look at the Ford upcoming schedule. Yeah, four o'clock central time tomorrow and then off to Cincinnati against that uh, Cincinnati ball club. Night games Monday, Tuesday, day night doubleheader. Both games here on ABC 7 on Wednesday. Uh, so the Southpaw thing, the origin of that, you know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. The configuration of most baseball fields, Wrigley Field would would be one of those with the uh, first base line to the east the third base line to the north where the pitcher would be standing his left arm would be to the south. Yeah 
Southpaw. Southpaw. Portsider. That is true here at Turner Field. The 1 1 to Peterson is in there for a strike. But you're right, you don't hear Northpaw. Yeah. I think you just made up a new term. That probably exists, but for whatever reason, we decide to give the lefties the quirky nicknames. Cubs thought that was strike three, two and two. Well, because they're a minority. There's fewer of them, therefore, they get the distinction of being different. And this was definitely a strike last night. Many times, not every time. Our Xfinity pitch tracks. <laughs> that time he got him. Peterson caught looking for the second time tonight. This summer, you could win tickets every hour to concerts of your choice. Oh, awesome. Yeah. But only with Pepsi. Yes! <laughs> oh. At least your name's on the bottle. Do I look like a Larry to you? Pop open music every hour with Pepsi. Do you have unexpected bills? Need cash now? Let Title Max turn your car title into cash. With competitive rates and quick approval, Title Max gets you the cash you need when you need it. Most makes and models accepted. And Title Max gets you the cash you need in as fast as 30 minutes. So if you need help paying your bills, bring your car title to Title Max. And you too will say, I got my title back with Title Max. Live music is created every day at RME. The RME enjoys a unique niche in the Quad Cities and strives daily to maintain a vital presence through our mission as a nonprofit performing arts center, providing opportunities for the community to listen to, learn about, and play music. Anyone can get service in town. But U.S. Cellular offers 4G LTE where you just wouldn't expect it. So you can watch your shows. Way out here. Stream your music. Way, way, way out here. Or check Facebook. Way, 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 out here. Pretty awesome, huh? With U.S. Cellular, now the middle of nowhere is the middle of anywhere. This summer, you could win tickets every hour to concerts of your choice, right. but only with Pepsi. <laughs> you still got the polar bear. Pop open music every hour with Pepsi. Downtown Atlanta. Cubs and Braves middle game. The three game set. Four coming up at uh, Wrigley Field. August 20 through the 23rd. Denorfia one for one, singled in the second. And ahead in the count, 2 0. Oh. Since we're always looking for comparables in this game, um, we get uh, Benuelos out there in a Braves uniform. Maybe a little Steve Avery like. Avery had that bad sharp curveball worked up in the zone with a fastball. Pitch. It goes to Norfia's way, three and one. Rays over the Jays, three to two in Toronto. Kurt Casale, go ahead, home run in the eighth. Hit well out in the deep left. Gomes won't make the catch, and one hops the wall. And to Norfia has a leadoff double. 
Well, he's obviously seeing it well here tonight. Two at bats, two sharply hit balls, one single, one double. Gomes is not going to make a lot of plays for you out there in left field. Does not have a very good reputation, but I don't know that a a really good outfielder would have been able to track this one down. Castro the hitter. First pitch swinging in the second. He flied to center. And the pitch. It is in there for a strike. Starlin looking for a turnaround. He's three for his last 39. That one floated in the right for a base hit to Norfi around third. He'll score. It's 2 nothing Cubs on the RBI single from Starlin Castro. Didn't hit it hard, but it was well placed. Absolutely. When hits have been hard to come by, uh, you're just happy to get anything. And not only does he get a base hit, but he gets an RBI base hit. Working really hard to try to stay inside that ball to make sure he hit it the other way. I'm gonna check on the runner. With a vicious cut, fouled it to the screen. The whole state, unless perhaps that element uh, gentleman's name might be Alabama. I don't know. His first name's Al. Could his last Alabama. name is Alabama. A lot of people named Austin and Dallas. It could be Alabama. Oh and two on Ross. Slide step in the pitch. This should be two. Well, Ooh, it won't be. As Peterson had trouble getting rid of the ball. Looked like they took some time knowing Ross was running, but took too much time, and the result is only one out. The Aaron pickoff throw by Banduelos led to a run in the first. Now see if the Cubs can make something with this. This will not be a neighborhood play, so yeah, okay. Cubs were checking the video to see if, in fact, Simmons was on the bag, and it appeared he was. Some creative footwork on his part. Peterson couldn't get the handle on that ball upset the timing of the play. Yeah, it's one thing, you know, to, to make the dazzling turns in a spectacular play. Sometimes it's just bailing out a teammate. And again, since I, I seem to be in an ironic mood, here's a pitch <laughs> to Lester. I think if somebody else hits that ball, Peterson plays it much more aggressively and they probably turn it but because it's the catcher running he's thinking I, I've got, got all, all the time, in the time. World. Oh, ah, yeah. what happened
Kind of stabbed at that one, one and two. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of instructors would tell you when you're up there bunting, just think about trying to catch the ball with the barrel of the bat, not jab at it as he did. He's put down a couple so far this year. <laughs> Called strike three. Actually, no, none this year. He's given up to. Visit the Cubs Authentics auction page every week for your chance to own one of a kind game used Cubs items. This week's auction includes the 1958 throwback jerseys worn on July 12th. Go to Cubs.com slash authentics before this Sunday night at 8 p.m. to place your bid. The Cubs will donate net proceeds from the sale of Cubs Authentics items to Cubs charities. Knocked down by Przinsky. That looks kind of authentic. If not, he might be getting a phone call from somebody. Or at least the person who sold it to him. <laughs> One and zero. Oh. Strikeout for Banuelo. It's only the second of the night for him. And he may not be long for this night. He's had to labor here at times. Yeah, well, Julio Tehran, the starter last night, lasted four and two thirds as his pitch count got high in the middle innings. In terms of pitches per plate appearance, the Cubs have been at or near the top all year long. Oftentimes forcing manager to go earlier to that bullpen than he would prefer. Now last night it worked out for the Braves because their bullpen was outstanding. They take a toll, especially on a hot muggy night like this. Swing and a miss to end the inning, but the Cubs add to their lead on the Castro RBI hit. It's two to nothing. 800 of the best deals are in the house. The green Chevy pre-driven powerhouse. Get a fully inspected pre-driven with 1.9% financing and no money down. Drive a 2015 200 Limited, a 2014 Malibu 2LT, or a 2014 Fusion SE. Your choice, just $16,994 or $257 a month with remaining factory warranty. We've got many vehicles under $8,000. We finance your future, not your past, at the number one green Chevy powerhouse. You gotta go to green. Green, green gotta go to green. This Monday, magic goes high tech. The tablet is your magic wand. Like you've never. It's an absolute mind blower. Ever. Seen it before. You absolutely fooled us. Penn and Teller fool us. Monday at 7 on the Quad City CW. Things you wouldn't want to hear at Christmas. Yeah, Santa's taking these back. <laughs> Whose line is it anyway? Monday in the Quad City CW. We are the Defiant. The ones who defy history. Defy family. Defy death. Gravity. The our demons. We defy weakness and wanderlust. We defy expectation and explanation. We defy haters. And heartbreak. We defy bad luck and bad luck. We defy to be ignored. To be bored. To be defined. This is our purpose. Our moment. Our choice. Seven is brought to you by the Bob LaCorsio Auto Group. You're going to like buying a car this way.
Cubs two Braves nothing John Lester has been very good early on he's allowed only one hit he also hit a batter the no damage on the big board to this point is Mabin takes strike one. Cameron Mabin, 28 years old. He was a 10th overall pick in the 05 draft by Detroit. He's been a Marlin, a Padre, and now Brave. He has shown flashes at times and has really put together a nice season to date here for the Braves whether he finishes the year with Atlanta remains to be seen. Yeah I think the Braves might be in sell high mode as Mabin's uh, value has increased with his performance here in the first half of this year. They're moving into a new ballpark in 2017 and you get the sense that every you know their focus is going to be you know let's try to be competitive when we move into that new ballpark very active this winter. They required a lot of young high upside arms. The two bouncer Castro gets it. Let's take a look at the league leaders brought to you by DeVry University. Uh, Nick Markek is the man stepping into the batter's box. Um, not a renowned slugger, but certainly a guy with a fair bit of power, but he has not yet hit a home run this year. He's the leader in terms of at-bats or plate appearances without a home run. Born in Glen Cove, New York, went to high school in Woodstock, Georgia, and then Young Harris College in Georgia. Longtime Baltimore Oriole, signed a four-year free agent contract over the winter. Yeah, apparently uh, family moved to this area because he was showing such promise as a baseball player swing and a miss 0 and 2 I played uh, the travel teams with the uh, Jeff Francoeur Jeremy Hermita this is a very talent rich area here around Atlanta and, and the environs pretty good pitcher in college as well two way player is the junior college player of the year according to Baseball America 2002 won the award again the following year So trouble with the curve that uh, movie about the baseball scout the Amy Adams vehicle. Yeah I didn't see like it. To say in the business. Apparently that was filmed at Young Harris College mm. and you did you have a credited role. No no no. <laughs> My voice was in the background. Really. Yeah. Uh, Brownie and I were calling a Astros Braves game and it was on in the cafe when. Uh, Amy Adams was chatting with Justin Timberlake. Did you get a residual check? Did nothing. Yeah, not nothing. even a, not even a thank you. I was hoping you'd get an IMDb. I was thinking maybe a you know, red red carpet appearance. <laughs> right. Uh, did you see the movie? Of course, I had to. And did you like it? It's great. Um, did, did I like it? I'm easily. Let me start by saying I'm easily entertained at the movies. I'm okay. easily entertained at the movies. It was okay. It was fine. It wasn't a great movie. Roll right to Castro. 
On JD's movie scale, he gives it an eh stars. <laughs> The one baseball movie that uh, kind of divides baseball fans, I think, is uh, for love of the game. I get a very wide array of answers. People either loved it or hated it. Or Costner? Yeah. Uh, Mike Borzello worked with uh, John C. Riley, who knew nothing about catching. And Mike tells the story it was after one particular year he was working with the Yankees he ended up spending like six weeks on set when it was supposed to be a couple of days two nothing Cubs after four let's check those traps these great wireless plans you keep hearing about they come with an asterisk but at iWireless there are no hidden fees no surprises hit the lights no asterisks <gasps> I'm going to need my baseball bag. Get your asterisk removed. Switch to iWireless. Right now, family of four with 20 gigs of 4G data is only $100. iWireless. Put an end to asterisks. If anything comes up, I will be here in... A New York minute. Hey, Jeff. This ain't no time for loving. Guys, which way? Left. Right. Right. Left. Dirtying up my suit. When are we gonna start considering it my suit? I'd be comfortable calling it our suit. Guess I'm a lot faster than a speeding bullet. He's a hero. We're saving a lot of lives. Impossible's just another Tuesday for us. Tuesday at 7 on the Quad City CW. This Thursday. Come with me for your bride died. Beauty and the Beast. Thursday at 7 on the Quad City CW. Is there like a special category that you women look for to find mugs like me? Dates. Thursday at 8 on the Quad Cities CW. Hey, Jimmy, do we have time for one more round before? <laughs> Please tell me that wasn't my mother. Significant mother. August 3rd on the Quad Cities CW. You want to feel connected, informed, included on every screen in your life. We are broadcasters. Always here for you, wherever here may be. Text Washington. Tell them local stations matter. Hot in Cleveland. A full hour. Weekdays at 4 on the Quad Cities CW. Dunkin' Donuts fan cam. America runs on Dunkin'. Back to live action as Dexter Fowler takes a curveball from Banuelos for strike. Two nothing, fifth inning. Oh, and two on the Atlanta area native. We went to Milton High School. Milton is uh, just north of Atlanta. One of his substitute teachers in high school was former Cub Bobby Scales. His mom's a teacher. Um, Dexter was recruited to play basketball and baseball at Harvard. Had uh, decided to attend the University of Miami to play baseball before opting to sign with the Rockies. He has worked a full count. Chris Bryant is on deck. Interesting. The Braves have one hit. And it was a play uh, a lot of people thought should have been called an error on uh, Bryant. Marcakis with a first inning single. The 3 2 is outside. Ball four. Leadoff man is now on for the third time in. Five innings for the Cubs. Yeah, you're not supposed to cheer in the press box, but the official score is probably hoping that the Braves get a clean single off John Lester before long here. 
to be a lot of scrutiny on that call. Mm. Certainly wasn't an easy play for Brian, but a lot of scores work off the idea that the first hit's got to be a clean one. A swinging strike. I don't know that I buy that. I think if I'm an official scorer, I just look at the play in a vacuum and say, right. is that a hit or an error? Right. Bryant leads the Cubs in RBIs and walks. One ball, one strike. Johnson holding him on and Manuelos will check on him. I don't know, typically those throwovers are, are called from the dugout. Most managers control the running game now. A.J. Pruszynski being a veteran, maybe um, Freddie Gonzalez will yield to A.J. Just let him handle it. And Willis has been a little bit preoccupied with cup base runners here tonight. Fowler guy capable certainly of stealing a base but he has not been doing a lot of running. Swing and a miss on a change two and two. Most of the running that the Cubs do is basically starting a base runner to try to stay out of a double play. There's that good change up again from Benuelos. Even without the high octane velocity, you can see why the Braves really like this kid. He's got a nice mix of pitches. Bryant strikes out. On uh, Friday next, that would be the 24th, the Phillies are in town. First pitch is at 3.05, and the first 10,000 fans at the ballpark will receive a Billy Williams replica statue that's presented by Pepsi. For more information, visit Cubs. Com. We will not see another uh, former Cub who's in the Hall of Fame when the Phillies come in. Ryan Sandberg, of course, recently resigned as a Phillies manager. As Rizzo pops one left center, it'll be the center fielder Maven. Did you see Larry Boa's comments recently? Fowler tags, but he's going to hold. Yes, I did read that story. Uh, moments of disrespect shown by some veteran guys yeah. toward Rhino in the yeah. last couple of years. Mm -hmm. That's surprising. Some of the pitchers. And I know there was a big dust up when uh, Chase Utley got after uh, Bob McClure, the pitching coach, when uh, Jeff Francoeur had volunteered to pitch, and Rhino had checked with Frenchy and he said, "Yeah, I'm good for a couple of innings." But Utley thought that they were abusing Francoeur by leaving him out there for two innings, so it wasn't directed at Sandberg. He was getting after McClure, but you know, when you run down one of the coaches by extension, you're yep. you're kind of getting in the face of the manager. Yeah, you know, it it, it doesn't always go this way, but. It seems like it's a, it's a bad mix when you have a lot of high paid veterans on a really bad oh, yeah. team. It can be toxic. It can get yeah. really ugly and it sounds like it had at times before Rhino stepped down. Yeah, I remember when Rhino first took over he came in he said we're going to start doing this extra work and that and you know I imagine a lot of the older players there were like. Hey, wait a minute now. Don't don't forget what we've accomplished here over the last few years. And, and you know, there was probably some immediate tension there. It was just, just a bad situation for his first big league gig. Hopefully he'll get another one. Yep. Fowler runs, ground ball backhanded by Uribe. Up with it. Throw to first. Safe. Ball gets away from Johnson. Fowler with an aggressive turnaround third. And he'll hold there. Got to give Soler a hit on that play, right? Well, yeah, but if the other one, though, right. uh, the one down to Bryant yeah. was a hit, then I'm guessing this should be a hit as well. 
I guess the question is, uh, were they plays that should have been made? There were plays that could have been made. And the first part of the play was spectacular. Accurate throw would have gotten him. But he's in a hurry. He's a little bit off balance. Johnson not able to bail him out on the other end. Start looking. Push for an extra 90 if that ball kicked a little further away from Chris Johnson. Still have not gotten. Now they're saying infield hit for Solaire. So Roger McDowell out to talk it over with pitcher and catcher. Good charge Urebe with the throwing error allowing Fowler to advance to third base but the score may have determined that he was headed that way yeah. anyway with the yeah. throw going across the diamond. So walking an infield hit here in the fifth and now it's Denorfia who's Reached twice on a single and a double, and he scored after getting on in the fourth. Castro knocked him in. Strike one. Two and one to Denorfia. Young lefty coming home, and it's outside three and one. Yeah, pitching away from contact here, understandable given the swings that Denorfia has had against him already tonight. But he's pitched his way into a little bit of a corner here at three and one. They're loaded. So Denorfi's strong night continues. Three plate appearances and has reached all three times, and that'll be it for Banuelos. So the Cubs lead 2 0 in the fifth. Three on, two down, and we'll be back. I'm Andy McRae, and this is the ultimate golf card from OurQuadCities.com. For just $29.95, this card will get you 18 holes and half a card at five of the area's hidden gems, including Bunker Links, Chapel Hill, Rustic Ridge, Saucy, and Wolf Hollow. And you'll get one hour in the PGA Tour golf simulators at the Clubhouse Indoor Golf and Lounge. If you like golf, get the ultimate golf card for just $29.95 while they last, only at OurQuadCities.com. This Thursday, bullets can't even stop us. A new threat sees them out of the city. So death do us part, right? And into hot water. Come with me, or your bride dies. Beauty and the Beast. Thursday at 7 on the Quad Cities CW. What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. Dates. Thursday at 8 on the Quad Cities CW. On the next two and a half men. Are you Charlie Harper? Yeah, why? You were right. It's him. <laughs> Charlie's swing and lifestyle comes back to haunt him. Oh boy. CharlieHarperSucks.com. You can buy t shirts and coffee mugs. I'm going to have to move to Pennsylvania and chase Amish broads. Now, 
He's got to make amends. Five amends in one afternoon. Well, technically four. I had to fake the last one. On Two and a Half Men, Monday at 9 in the Quad Cities, CW. Chicago Cubs baseball on ABC7 is brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. By Southwest Airlines, book your low fare now at southwest.com. By Toyota, see where Toyota takes you. Test drive one at your Toyota dealer. Toyota, let's go places. And by the Bob LaCorsio Auto Group, you're going to like buying a car this way. Chicago native Jason Frazier will make his Braves debut, and the jersey number matches the record number of players used by the Braves this season. They have set a club record already for a single season, and it's only July 18th. They've used 51 different players. Yeah, it's been a, kind of a wild ride here in Atlanta. The bullpen's been a big issue for them. They've really struggled, so they've reworked that. We saw Ross Detweiler, veteran left-hander, also recently acquired by Atlanta, pitching the ball game last night. Frazier's a veteran, longtime American leaguer, mostly with Toronto, but he's also spent time with the White Sox. Last year, the Rangers and the Royals. This year, he was with the Royals. Had a 154 ERA in 26 appearances before being released. Way too many walks. 15 walks in just over 23 innings. So he faces Castro with the bases full and two outs. I guess that also the, speaks to the depth of that uh, Kansas City bullpen. 92 on the heat for strike one. Complement that fastball with a slider and a split finger pitch. Officially signed with the Braves yesterday. So this is his National League debut. Whole career in the American League before tonight. RBI single for Castro last time. Chance to really open things up here. And he's down on the count. Frazier went to Southern Illinois University. Before that, Oak Forest High School. <laughs> Called strike three. Cubs strand three, but lead two nothing in the fifth. Shopping for a high-quality, low-priced used vehicle? Don't waste your time. Get to Green Buick GMC's Great American Sale and get our worry-free three-day exchange policy and free maintenance on every high-quality pre-driven vehicle. Over 800 in stock, 97 under 10,000, and 279 under 20,000. Plus, we'll buy from you even if you don't buy from us. Don't waste your time. Get the best price up front at Green Buick GMC Great American Sale. You gotta go to Green. Green, green, gotta go. Anyone can get service in town, but U.S. Cellular offers 4G LTE where you just wouldn't expect it. So you can watch your shows. Way out here! Stream your music. Way, way, way out here! Or check Facebook. Way, 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 out here. Pretty awesome, huh? With U.S. Cellular, now the middle of nowhere is the middle of anywhere. I used to have ambition. That whole whatever vibe. I mean, what's with that? I used to be passionate, inspired, alive. You're not dead. You're undead. Big difference. Now I'm a zombie. 
I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Try to keep the faith alive. Better? Much. Hi, Zombie. Tuesday at 8 on the Quad Cities CW. This fall. Josh Chan? A new CW series. Josh! That's not about Josh. Dude, we should hang out. I haven't seen Josh yet. What's the deal with you and Josh? It's not about looking for Josh. You know where he went, though, because I'd love to, like... It's not about obsessing over Josh. You are obsessed with him. It's definitely not about moving cross-country for Josh. I did not move here because of Josh, because that would be crazy, and I am not crazy. We go crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Series premiere this fall on the Quad Cities CW. The softly hit ground ball, the only uh, hit allowed by John Lester here tonight. He has been locked in, started the game with a punch out, and really settled in. There's the base hit. So it could have been made. I don't know if you could make the argument that it should have been made. It's always the debate for the official score, but John Lester unfazed by that. There's the strikeout, throwout, double play. That ended the second inning. He's got four punch outs all together. He's allowed that scratch single and a hit batter, and that's it in terms of uh, base runners. And that's following the trend, starting pitching for the Cubs. Last 14 games, a buck 50 ERA. Well, comfortable place for him. He makes his off-season home here in Atlanta. And working on a gym so far tonight. The 0-1 on the way to Chris Johnson. Inside, 1-1. One and one. Here's the pitch. Ooh, close didn't get it. Two and one. Let's take a look at our Xfinity pitch tracks. Good call, just off the corner. Fifth career start against the Braves. Made two last year. One with Boston, one with the A's. Two and two lifetime with a 360. That's your dollar he swings. You're correct. So I look at Chris Johnson and the way he sets up. He's got a Braves uniform on, maybe a little Julio Franco like. Kind of bet over the yeah. top, dipping that barrel a little bit. Swing and a miss. Right, three. Good comeback by Lester. And Johnson, one of those guys, even when you're behind him, you, you don't really have to give in because he rarely walks. He's up there swinging, especially with a lefty on the mound. He's looking to do some damage. Some good execution by Lester and Ross after they tried to paint that outside corner, came back with a good breaking ball and then the elevated fastball to get him. Brzezinski fouls. He got plunked in the second. Later caught stealing. Braves upper third in the National League in terms of batting average, but not on base because they don't walk much and they don't hit many home runs either. Robinson Cano supplied all the offense for the Mariners today against his former team in the Bronx. He hit a couple of two run homers in a Seattle 4 3 win. I'll get out of play. Hasn't gone all that well for Cano this year. Came no. in to today hitting 249 with only six home runs. Well, it's, uh, you know, the ballpark in Seattle, obviously, a very difficult place to hit home runs. All right, didn't we have a conversation about him in spring training? That very well, he had, issue? Four, he had 14 last year, his first year with the Mariners. And while with the Yankees, you know, 25, 29, 28, 33, right. 27. That's 
why I like OPS plus it kind of adjust that stuff and last year he was Robinson Cano so even though he only hit 14 homers and you adjust it for the home ballpark now this year much different story I mean his numbers way down all across the board he's a career 306 hitter and as I said came in under 250. Lester will take it unassisted. Hey, Cup fans, if you miss any of today's action, ABC7 will rebroadcast each one of their Cubs matchups on the Live Well Network. Tonight's encore, Cubs Braves, will air in its entirety beginning at 11 p.m. on ABC's digital channel 7.2 and the following cable channel positions. So good Sunday morning to you about this time doing the quick math. You'll be hearing this at around uh, 1240 something. Hope everybody's doing OK. There's some pretty good storms pass through Chicago today. And for those of you watching a rebroadcast you know or can find out the final score of this game and we don't know How about that it's so confusing You're like we're time we're time traveling John Lester's misses tonight have been good when he misses it's just off the corner down below the knees he's from very few pitches over the heart of the plate. Lester's two one now two and two. Simmons on deck. Base runner first walk. Just cut that one off a little bit. Didn't quite get through that pitch. You can see him shaking his head. Unhappy with himself. It'll take a little extra time. So this starting staff on quite a run. Last 14 games. Cup starters with a 150 earned run average. No homers. In the last 10 plus. And a little run support tonight, so Lester working with a seemingly comfortable lead, but the tying runs at the plate. Strike called on Simmons. Simmons drew a big walk in the eighth inning last night, part of the two run Braves rally that proved to be the difference. Pedro Siriaco is on deck. That's in there. It's 0 2. Joe Madden talks about the relentless pursuit of execution and technique or something to that effect. To, to, to John Lester, when you watch him pitch, it's the relentless pursuit of the bottom of the zone for the most part. It reminds me a little bit of, of Roger Clemens. Obviously, he's uh, not a Northpaw like Roger. 
but, but Clemens was that way. He just did not want to give in to the, the middle of the zone. Always pounding down or on the corners. Yeah, their mound demeanor kind of similar yeah, too. Big sturdy guys, very intense. Chopper to the shortstop. Castro will feed Russell, and that'll end the inning. Through five, John Lester leading 2 0. It's a great time at Pints to sit out on our beer garden and watch your favorite sports teams while enjoying one of our 20 beers on tap. Or grab your friends and grab a seat at the full service bar and catch all the sports action on any one of our 11 TVs at Pints. Stop by Pints on Utica Ridge Road. about living life as a woman. Have my own breast. <laughs> Weeknights at 6 on the Quad City CW. This Thursday, come with me for your bride time. Beauty and the Beast. Thursday at 7 on the Quad City CW. Special category that you women look for to find mugs like me. Dates. Thursday at 8 on the Quad Cities CW. The flock returns to the Quad City Botanical Center this summer for our Flamingo Follies exhibit now through July 31st. We want you to bring the whole family out to enjoy an exhibit of artistically altered pink plastic lawn flamingos. To find out more, visit ourquadcities.com. Name something you might like about living life as a woman. Have my own breasts. <laughs> A whole new reality here on the feud. Weeknights at six on the Quad City CW. Time now for the out of town scoreboard brought to you by Dodge, focusing in on the uh, wild card race. And the Pirates trailing again at Milwaukee five to three in the top of the fifth. Cardinals all over the Mets six to nothing. Diamondbacks with an early one nothing lead over San Francisco. Jason Frazier's still in there. Working against David Ross. The pitch. Got a fastball by him, one and one. Cubs next opponent, the Reds, playing a weekend series at home with the Indians, trailing six to one. They're in the sixth. One and two. The all time leader in games pitched for the Toronto Blue Jays, Jason Frazier. 505 career appearances. There are two pretty solid choices for number two on that list. Hey. Just had some action up here. Um, um, yes, yeah, so he, he broke whose record? Games pitch for Toronto the Blue Jays. Blue Jays. So you think of the two kind of dominant guys back in the 80s, like at 90s. Tom Hankey, kind of Canadian. Right, Goose or game. Dwayne Ward. Right, so it would be one of those two guys, they were within six of each other. Dwayne Ward, Ward 452 yeah. appearances, Hankey, 446. Deep right, playable. On Sunday, July 26, it'll be the final of a three-game set with the Phillies. Game time is at 1.20. First 5,000 kids receive a Cubs replica batting helmet presented by Advocate Children's Hospital. After the game, the first 1,000 kids, 13 and younger, We'll have the opportunity to run the bases. That's weather permitting, of course. For more information, visit Cubs.com. Mm 
referencing the tomahawk chop earlier. Well, we got a young Cub fan that got into it, but mom said, cut it out. Yeah. Yeah, she's feeling guilty because he's clearly steamed. Good hack. Yep. Eight nothing lead for the Cardinals over the Mets now. Should be an easy win for John Lackey. Bartolo Colon gave up seven and four and a third. National League Central, the division collectively 28 games better than 500. That's the best mark of any division in baseball. Just give you a sense of what the Cubs are up against, trying to chase down the Cardinals and the Pirates. Red seven games below 500 coming into play tonight. Even the Brewers have been the bottom feeder all year. They've and a lot better, better in yep. the last few weeks. Slicing fly ball, long run Maben, he's there. Two outs. Here comes Russell. See what Mike Trout did last night? Yeah, walk -off. Uh, a walk-off home run after leading off the All-Star game with a home run. Yeah, one nothing over Boston. He leads the American League in homers, 27. Yeah. Bryce Harper hit his 27th today for the Nationals. But don't you think somebody should be writing a song about Mike Trout at some point? Seems like sure. Yeah, he's that kind of guy, right? Talking baseball. Yeah, yeah, something, right? Yeah. At least use his name in a catchy lyric like, you know, DiMaggio and Mrs. Robinson. For all you songwriter, young songwriters out there, yeah. the challenge has been put forth. The legend of Mike Trout. So likes that high fastball. He got beat by a high heater last time up to strike out. the stretch you hate to put a lot of pressure on young kids but when you've got a lineup that features so many young kids you're going to need these guys to have uh, better second halves either that or you're just going to have to continue pitching at a tremendously high level two and two Lester has done his part tonight without a win over his last 10 starts. Strike three called and the inning is over. We're trying to get along here tonight. <laughs> Two nothing Cubs. 
are the Defiant. The ones who defy history. Defy family. Defy death. Gravity. Even our demons. We defy weakness and wonderlust. We defy expectation and explanation. We defy haters. And heartbreak. We defy bad luck and bad blood. We defy to be ignored. To be bored. To be defined. This is our purpose. Our moment. Our choice. Series. Josh! That's not about Josh. Dude, we should hang out. I haven't seen Josh yet. What's the deal with you and Josh? It's not about looking for Josh. Do you know where he went, though? Because I'd love to, like... It's not about obsessing over Josh. You are obsessed with him. It's definitely not about moving cross-country for Josh. I did not move here because of Josh, because that would be crazy, and I am not crazy. We got crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Series premiere this fall on the Quad Cities CW. On the next two and a half men. Are you Charlie Harper? Yeah, why? You were right. It's him. <laughs> Charlie's swing and lifestyle comes back to haunt him. Oh boy. CharlieHarperSucks.com. You can buy t-shirts and coffee mugs. I'm gonna have to move to Pennsylvania and chase Amish broads. Now he's gotta make amends. Five amends in one afternoon. Well, technically four. I had to fake the last one. On two and a half men. Monday at nine in the Quad Cities CW. Here's a look at the ESPN 1000 game summary. John Lester's been terrific. Probably should have a no-hitter going here into the bottom of the sixth. A questionable hit call in the first inning. But other than that, he's been lights out. And the RBIs tonight belong to Rizzo and Castro. Pedro Siriaco will bat for Jason Frazier, who had a very successful Braves debut, phase four. Retired all of them, two on strikeouts. Chose bunt takes ball one. <laughs> 